Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you our restaurant management system version 2.0 in Excel VBA. This is the second version of the restaurant management system and here we have created lot of feature in this. After downloading from our website, you can first unzip this folder because it is in the zip folder. Just extract all, extract and right click on the file and we will unblock this first before using just right click go to the properties and here we have that unblock option if you are not getting this option then you can use without unblocking this just uncheck this apply ok now just open this file as you open this file automatically it will show this login page and here you can use the user id and the password as admin1 and the password is abcd in a small case just hit the enter this is the landing page and here we have all information on the top left we have one minimize and maximize button so you can use to minimize and maximize the tool then we have the zoom screen button if this is not fit in your window you can zoom this like this or you can just reduce the zoom size as you want if you take the mouse here it will show the current zoom level okay we have logged in with admin1 so we can see that name admin1 and the role of this person is admin. Here we have some buttons on the top. This is for the logout. As you click on this button, you will be logged out from the tool. This is for the email us. If you click, it will show our email ID so you can send us the email for any query. This button will take you to our website. If you want to see our other tools or templates, you can just click on this button. Now here we have this all order details. You can see all the orders in the selected date range and if you want to see for the all period you can just check this or if you uncheck this it will show for the selected date range. You can change the date range like I want to see only in August so let's select the 1st August here and till 6 August and refresh. So we can see all the orders in the August only. Now you can filter it by any table name, payment mode, billing status, served by and update by also. Let's say I want to search by the table name. I'm just putting here table number 3 and just refresh. So it is showing the all order on the table number 3. Okay. You can select again and refresh then it will show all. You can sort the data as you want. Let's say I want to sort the data by the total amount. So you can just click here. So this is in the ascending you can see if I click here this is in the descending. To add the new order you can just click on this plus button and then you can select the table number. Here we have list of the tables and we have added home delivery and pickup also and then you can select table 1, table 2, table 3 so where your customer is sitting let's say on table 3. As you select the table 3 we can see here information and let's select the disk. We have added a few days here, one test test also. If you want to add more tables, you can just click here and you can add the tables here. Let's say we want to add 20 tables, then two will be fixed, then it will add the other tables. Okay, and then you can click on the press button. So let's say here I'm taking this days and just say add, then it has added one days here in the invoice. And here you can see we have count one and the total amount. Let me select another one and just say add. Now we can see the count is 2 and this is the total amount. If you select the same disk again and you can change the quantity also from here. Let's say 2. But because we have selected already if I add this then it just had changed the quantity. But you can see the total amount is changed accordingly. If you want to make any changes in the existing one or let me add uh, one more cold coffee add. And if you want to make this change, let's say this is not 1, this is 3, double click here and let's make here 3 and just update this time, not add, okay, because we are changing this. So this is 3 now. If you want to delete, if you added by mistake, just select that and just say delete selected, that record will be deleted. Once everything is done, then you can just make the invoice. Like you can, total amount is 1076. So you can just put here a payment received 1076. You can take from the customer payment method. It was UPI, PayPal or let's say cash. I'm just taking cash. It is billed. Okay. And served by the name of the better. You can just select here. And either you can mark the order as completed. But if you want to take the print also, then you can just print and submit. 
print will come on the thermal printer okay if you the small size printer and if you just click on the print and submit let me show you so i haven't connected any printer it is just creating a pdf if you have connected a printer then it will not create the pdf it will just show the print okay so let me just save this as test print and let's save this that is done order completed we can see here new order invoice number 19 now let me minimize this and come to the desktop i can see here test invoice print and my print will look like this okay so everything is here the total amount and everything if you are using a printer then it will just take the print on the paper not here now let me come back to this tool maximize this now at bottom we can see the today's revenue so automatically it will show the today's revenue and it will show the this month revenue also you can use the export to excel using this button here we have some other buttons also let's say i want to edit this order later on so i can just select that record and click here or you can just double click here that same order will be loaded again okay you can delete any order if it is by mistake let's say i am selecting this and delete order and just say delete yes that order will be deleted from the data you can use the export to excel so whatever is appearing here the filtered data will be exported to the new excel file you can see this and further you can use it as you want if you want to take the print of any invoice later on if you submit it this let's say you just have marked order complete you didn't take the print so if you want to take the print of the invoice later on you can just select that order and just say take print so as you click on this button it will take the print out now i will show you some other features here first of all you can update the restaurant information so here you have to put your restaurant name your address your gst number or some other tax number whatever you want to display on the print like we have put this information here and it is showing the same information on the print so whatever name or the address you want to display you can just put that here okay? that is restaurant information just change this information then submit next we have the user management you can create the new user like i want to create the user one and let's say password i'm putting abcd then you can set the role also let's say i'm setting it user and just say add the user will be added here and now you can use this credential in the tool if you double click you can change the password or you can change the role also and you click again then that user will be updated or you can delete any user just select and delete now this user will not be able to log in all right the next is the table master if you want to add the more tables you can just uh, change this number and just save and accordingly table will be created now next we have the menu master using the menu master you can create the new item new menu item and let's say i'm adding a new dish here let's say i just have added uh, peppy paneer pizza then uh, category you can add that here or you can just click on this plus button to add more category so let's say i'm adding a new category as pizza and just add okay so that is appearing here and uh, now if i uh, open this it is not appearing you have to click on refresh button now we can see the pizza here price let's say i'm putting here 400 then the status keep active if you want to put some remarks you can put that if you want to add a picture here for that you can add that make sure you have saved the jpg image somewhere in your system and just click on add image and let's say i'm selecting the image from the desktop that image will appear here and now just submit that as you submit you can see that is appearing here okay if you want to update any existing record just double click or you can just select and click on this edit then you can change the information like you can mark this active inactive or you can change the price or you can just change the picture also just see did this then the picture will appear automatically you can change this make it clear and then add image again all right here you can use the filter option also let's say i want to see the man course so i will just select the category here and man space and refresh then you can see all man course items are appearing here similarly you can use the sort by option also by id or by price or by active inactive and you can delete the selected record you can use the export to excel like this so this is the same way now let me close this and uh, then we have the raw material master and uh, here you can just take the item this is the item master and the item master is basically the raw item master like you can add the vegetables you can add some 
spices or some and other things here and uh, then you can just do the entry like the we have done in the menu you can manage this filter by sort by also in the similar way then we have a manage drop down we have a drop down for the different things so you can just uh, use the uh, drop down here and let's say expense category you can add that or let's say i'm taking category we just have added pizza you can add more let's say i'm adding here test and just add so that test will appear you can delete this from here also next we have the stop master stop master is also the master uh, of the stop you can just add the new stop here like waiter safe cleaner whatever you want or you can just select and delete the existing one you can just delete this from here or you can double click to edit or you can change the role also for that person and just submit that will be updated in the system next we have the supplier master from here you can manage the suppliers you can just add the more supplier here let's say i'm adding a supplier here as a pk the contact person of this or you can put here company name let's say i'm putting here pk and excel expert or next gen templates whatever you want and then the contact person name phone number email id and all information just submit that will be added here and if you want to update just double click that will be pre-filled and you can change the information and just submit and similarly you can use the filter by sort by option also next we have the inventory here you have to add if you are purchasing something after your purchase you have to add that item which you have purchased and the unit and the transaction date by default it will be today's date and here you can just mark it if you are purchasing just mark it in if you are selling something that means if you are creating some disk and you have already used some uh, raw material to create some disk you can just mark this out now next is the purchase if i click on purchase button it will open the purchase form here you can make all of your purchase entry to enter the purchase entry you can select the supplier name you can add the new supplier name using this plus button or you can go to the supplier master also here okay and let's select a supplier name then the item name and you can add more items using the item master or you can go to the row items also let's say i'm adding the quantity of 10 and the price i'm just adding 300 as you enter the quantity and price automatically it will calculate the total cost if you want to put some remarks you can add that otherwise just submit we can see the new entry which we have done this one and if you want to select all period you can select that or again you want to select a particular date range you can select that similar to this or you can filter by by item by supply name as you want and you can use the export to action edit and delete record now coming to the expense part and expense is also similar to purchase and just make sure whenever you are making the entry for the purchase just update this in the inventory part also as in now coming to the expense part in the expense you can just add the information as we have as for the purchase you can select the expense category if that is not appearing here just click on this plus button and you can add the new expense category and then click on this refresh button that will appear so let's select here i'm putting let's say marketing amount i'm putting 4000 then payment method i'm saying upi and the vendor name you can select the vendor name if it is appearing if it is not then you can add a new vendor here let's say i want to add here test vendor just add that and it is not appearing here just refresh then it will appear okay approved by hotel manager and then i'm saying approved and just submit so that new expense is appearing here you can again use these uh, date range filters filter by a particular field let's say i am saying expense category just so the marketing refresh and then we can see all marketing okay and you can sort by the expense id amount or whatever you want. you can edit the record just double click or click on edit then it will be pre-filled and you can change the information edit the uh, delete the record and export to excel now coming to the reservations, if your customer want to reserve the table in your restaurant, you can use this form. Here you can just uh, select the date, by default it will take the today's date and then you can select the time. Let's say my customer want to reserve a table at 7.30, so I'll select here 7.30 p.m. Okay, so I'll select here 30 and take here 0 and p.m. You can select a.m. p.m. p.m. is already there applied, so 7.30 p.m customer name i'm putting here let's say pk table number i'm putting here seven or you can just put the number of guests three and contact number i'm putting some dummy number and reservation status is confirmed submit 
we can see that is result and again you can use the date range filter and this for example i want to search all the reservation only for today so i'll select here today's date that is 6 of august and just refresh so it is showing all reservation for today and then you can just use the export to excel so that will be available in excel and further you can call to the customer and you can see whether customer is coming or not okay so that is how you can use the reservation coming to the report part you can fetch the report for orders expense purchase and inventory for orders just select and you can select the date range let's say i want to fetch all the orders for the 6 5th and 6th august only just select here august that is 6 okay and just submit so we can see we have two orders and all details similarly you can fetch the expenses also we can see the all expenses and you can fetch the purchase also this is purchase you can fetch the inventory also inventory will be as on this date submit we can see this is the inventory opening stock in stock out of stock closing stock reorder level of the product and then this item has to be ordered and this is out of stock so immediately has to be ordered okay in the last we have user access control here you can allow the user to update a transaction to delete a transaction or export to excel or allow manage list that is drop down so here what we have done we have allowed everything except delete by default but if you want to change you can just change this as you want and then you save this okay so i'm just resetting this okay now i will log out this tool from here and i will show you with the login of one user let me come to the user management we have user as pk and i will show you how we can log in with the user pk let me log out this and let's open this tool again and log in with the pk and a b c d and just log in. so this is with the user pk we can see on the top the role is user now you can see that button is not appearing here and if i click on the user management then i can just change my password that's it and uh, if i try to delete any record just select and say delete it is saying you don't have the access of this button please contact your admin because we haven't allowed the user to delete a record all right so that's it in this tool friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching